Welcome to Last Week on Game Pass. This is a show about Game Pass, and we're just talking about what games came out uh, the week before. And mm-hmm. telling you if it's like worth the space to uh, download it and play it or not, or if there's something similar but better on Game Pass. Yeah, so we downloaded and played them, so you don't have to. You can get our recommendation. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I'm Nathan. Oh, and I'm William. And let's get into it with Monster Train. So it's, how how would you explain Monster Train? It's a, I'd say it's a roguelike card game. You kind of defend a train using monsters against adventurers, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's kind of what it is. Um, it's similar to Slay the Spire, which is also on Game Pass. Uh, kind of like a deck building card game. Yeah. Out of all the card building games that I've played, I think this might be my favorite. Because mm-hmm. it doesn't just feel like a card game in a way. Because you're controlling mm-hmm. so many different floors at a time. I, I think you could say it's a card building tower defense game in a way. Yes, because yeah. you know the enemies will move in a certain path. Exactly. And your goal is like, you can set up like on a floor with no enemies. Oh, I want to set up these, these monsters from my deck so I can plan ahead and make sure that they uh, get attacked later on. Yeah. It's, it's definitely like a strategy. It adds a strategy element to it. You get to pick like Mm -hmm. uh, what type of deck you want to be building, whether it's like monster focused or like spell focused. I think that's really, uh, really fun. Yeah. Um, and unlike, like, Slay the Spire, like, you can pick what champion you want as your lead. And they do different things. It's not, like, just, like, a plain character and you kind of build your deck around it. Like, the champion you can put on there, like, the green deck is if you heal them, well, you can do 40 damage to the person up front. Yeah. Or it has a different move set that you could do. Um, it, it's definitely, like, I think it's interesting. And um, I think... I, I'd highly recommend it. Uh, how what what size does it come in at? Uh, one point one gigs. Yeah, well, for one point one gigs, that'll fit on. <laughs> yeah, give give it a shot. Um, that's like that. That's like nothing. Yeah, like, it's keep it on it. there. Exactly. Come back to it. That's kind of what I've been doing. Like this is the game that I've been just like kind of popping back into, playing a round or two. Over the holidays, I've been playing it on my phone, streaming it from my Xbox. So I just I, hook up a controller to it play on my phone works great if it like sputters out i just wait because it's a turn-based game yeah that that sounds perfect yeah, yeah. that's kind of like the way i've been playing it i've been doing other things and then playing it so like if i have to look away for a second i can just put down my controller kind of do my other thing yeah and go right back to it and i think it'll be perfect on the phone it seems like the perfect game they'd set up to where um because you know how certain games they added touch controls to it to make it easier to play on your phone yeah this feels like the game that'd be perfect for that. Yeah, absolutely. So Highly, that is, it's a recom- It's a download from us. Yeah, download yeah. it and play it. Yeah, download it for sure. Give it a shot. So next on the list is Neoverse. Neoverse yes. coming in at four gigabytes. Mm-hmm. It's a. Uh, it's it's more similar than Slay the Spire than to Monster Train. I'd say. Yeah. It's a deck building game, highly um, anime like graphic influenced. Um, a lot of gunplay, so you're doing like shooting enemies and just um, simple like stuff like that. It, it's nothing too crazy, but it doesn't do a good job of explaining what yeah. it does. It seems like you've got uh, attack cards and defense cards, and then like some some like consumable items that add attack or defense cards mm-hmm. to your hand. Yeah, uh, and it's um I don't know how to say it. It's just not it's not very like a cohesive experience. I'd say like I did like a a ton of my run without using the consumables and that's because i just kind of forgot they exist forgot they exist it's you set know. up exactly yeah. like you'd see like a phone game set up like the mm-hmm. menu on the top right and it wants you to use a mouse cursor but the mouse cursor goes really slow yes well my issue was is like the mouse cursor it it couldn't differentiate between if i wanted to use my mouse cursor to look at something or if i wanted to pull up my card and look at it so i was like yeah. dragging my card and like it it just it feels like they kind of second hand thought about oh. controller for this game, so it just doesn't really work well with it. Yeah, uh, it is the nicest looking card building game I've seen. Yes, yeah, <laughs> it, it it definitely does look nice. So if you're looking for something nice, if you like anime style graphics, you might you might yeah. enjoy that aspect of it. Because um, something that I don't like about you know Slay the Spire and Monster Train is that like weird 
it's like those paper uh, dolls you'd make with like the push pins mm -hmm. and they move on the joints you know they yeah. got the elbow movement like an action figure made of paper mm -hmm. and that's how everything moves i don't know whenever i see a game like that i'm just like i i don't like it i don't know there's something yeah. about it pushes me away from it yeah <laughs> it, because know. it's been it's been done before yeah you know it's especially like if two of the card building games kind of look similar i guess that it's like charming but when every game does it it stops yeah. to become yeah. becoming charming but i wouldn't say that neo versus like i enjoyed I, looking at it i don't uh, think it's like an, it's no. nice but not interesting you know what no. i mean a lot of uh, a lot of i guess i would say bland environments on the stages but like monster train is the same environment it is, it every is. time <laughs> it is isn't so. it so i i guess yeah there is that at least at least monster train you have uh interesting enemies to look at i think neoverse yeah. what are, aren't they just like demons yeah this, like, i fought a dog a dog uh i beat the first boss mm -hmm. um there's some interesting stuff where like uh before you go into a fight you can like wager like oh i can do this without getting hit and if you mm -hmm. do it without getting hit you can like remove a card from your deck, which I yeah, think is I, interesting. Uh, but um, I, I like that element. Like, there's like a combo system, kind of like yeah. oh, if you do like an attack, a defense, and attack, a defense, you get like special unlocks and stuff. Yeah, there's interesting <laughs> stuff there. Yeah. But also, your hand, the bottom of the cards hang off your screen unless you're highlighting them. Mm -hmm. So you can't really read the cards. Yeah. Unless you're highlighting them, so it's kind of hard to see what you have. I don't know. There's a lot. Yeah, there's I a have few, the same issue. There's a few little things and like coming out right after Monster Train. Yeah, that's, just that's a better choice for it. Yeah, that's the thing. Like maybe if Monster Train hadn't come out, I'd recommend this a little bit more. But I would say definitely invest your time in Monster Train. It's a much more interesting experience. I think you'll have a lot more fun with like the strategy elements. So yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend it download. I mean, at four gigs, you're not going to, it's not going to be too awful if you download this. But I mean, I'd say go for Monster Train first. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, go for yeah. Monster Train. Well, cool. All right, next yeah. one, Wilmot's Warehouse. <laughs> Coming in at 307 megabytes. Nice. I would recommend that download. Yeah, this that is size. this is the surprise hit. Like at 300 megabytes, you'll have it downloaded fast, and it's actually like a really fun experience. Um, I'd go in not knowing what it is. Like I did, I didn't know what the heck I was downloading. I thought it was just like some kind of simple puzzle game. Yeah. Super, super weird. So you're like a cube, Wilmot, and you have other cubes, which is your inventory and you own a warehouse and it's about organizing your warehouse. So whenever people come in wanting some of your inventory, it's easy for you to go around. So it's like inventory yeah. management puzzle game it's it's a lot of depth for a 300 megabyte game what i like about it a lot is the mm -hmm. tutorial tells you sort these things between like winter and hats right yeah it's a little snowflakes and igloos put those to winters it's got top hats and fezzes mm -hmm. put it put it with hats and it throws down a beanie a winter beanie and it's like where would you sort this and yeah. like no matter where you put it in hats or in winter it's like oh interesting choice and that kind of sets up with to remember the layout of your warehouse you kind of put mm -hmm. things together right so you mm -hmm. organize it how you want to be able to get to the items the quickest and remember where they are in your head there's yeah. like 200 items so like there's like spotlights and sirens so how i sort it it's like oh those are all the lights go over here mm -hmm. all the things with dots on them go over here animals top right corner it's just however you want to organize it mm -hmm. to get the uh, inventory out the quickest and i really like that yeah i think that's what's cool about it is there's no like there's no like meta like oh this is how you should organize this this is the best way to organize it because there's such a variety of items that it's all in your head like how, how does your mind process these things the best like i was yeah. reading online some guy said that he does it by color whatever the background color is he sorts that into whatever corner yeah um, i was kind of just like over time like because it's randomized what items you get at the beginning in your inventory really? so like i uh, i got a bunch of weather items the first run and i was like okay well i'll just organize by weather over here and it once more inventory comes in you got to start to think like okay let me reorganize it mm -hmm. and you wouldn't think that's fun 
but I think the most fun I had was the in-between sections where you had an unlimited amount of time to reorganize your warehouse. Yeah, to take that's stock. What I was like, because I was like, okay, well, this is the fastest way. This is what I have most stock of. So this is probably what most people are going to ask for. Let me put that towards the front. You know, it, it's interesting. Um, yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of like personality to a game where, um, like I said, there's no meta, you know, you just kind of have to go with what works best for you. Yeah. yeah. And uh, for doing a good job, you get rewarded with like motivational posters yeah. or like, <laughs> not like motivational, but like workplace safety posters where it's like, mm -hmm. don't lift with your back, lift with your legs <laughs> or like, uh, <laughs> Should you have to stack things properly? Uh huh. Or like the appropriate shoe wear, a footwear yeah. wear. I and I know. think every time you look at the poster, it gives off a wah wah noise. Yeah, yeah, like a <laughs> like you're at work and it's I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, it's it's silly. I, I I like that, and the graphical yeah. style is really cute, really simple. Um, yeah, and like it has turns that are like two minutes long. So like mm -hmm. every two minutes, you can just pick up and play this game for two minutes and then put it down. Yeah, and or get sucked, really great. Get sucked into it like me, where like I stopped a run. I was like, oh, I'm gonna play for a little bit, and then I saw my time on it was like over an hour. I was like, holy crap, oh, where did the time go? <laughs> yeah, you know, um, yeah. No, highly, highly recommend you download this one. Three hundred yeah. megabytes. Go ahead and download it. Give it a try. It's and I think un it'll... it's unlike any game I've ever played. Yeah, it's it's uh, fresh. There's, there's no game like it. So, no. Next up is Beholder. Beholder. Mm -hmm. Coming at two gigabytes. Yeah. So Beholder is, um, I would say it's similar to Papers, Please. So the idea is you seem to be in um, just a... Uh, you're like a maintenance man in a apartment complex? Yeah, yeah. A maintenance man in an apartment complex. And the government has hired you to spy on everybody in the, um, in the building. So you kind of set up surveillance cameras and there's also laws you have to pay attention to. And that's why I say it's like papers, please. There's a lot of stuff you have to remember and you watch everybody and you see if they're breaking the law and you turn them in. Yeah. And the idea is to like get new people to move in. I don't know. I've been like getting people to move in who are like, oh, that guy's going to commit a crime. Like moving people yeah. in just to have them commit crimes. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of the, yeah. uh, the idea. It's like, it's interesting because, I mean, that's how you make your money. That's how you keep everything going yeah. is bring people in because they committed crimes. And when they leave for the day, you, like, break into their apartment and, like, snoop mm -hmm. around, see what their hobbies are, set up cameras yeah. in their house. So it kind of has, like, a stealth element to it. And this game's yeah. all 2D. It's like a 2, two well, 2.5D because you move yeah. kind of, like, on a 3D plane. Um, another game with a very interesting graphical style. You kind of play, like, a black blob moving around yeah. and, and everyone's, kind of everybody... everyone's black blobs but like mm -hmm. everyone looks different right everyone mm -hmm. has a distinct style to them and yeah. like you kind of like learn your tenets mm -hmm. and like i don't know yeah it's fun yeah yeah because you got to know like their time schedule because every tenant yeah. like does their own thing they have different jobs so you got to know you got to time perfectly when you should break in and snoop through all their yeah. stuff i haven't gone uh, too far in it but i would imagine you can plant shit in people's apartment right yeah i i haven't gotten that far either but it it definitely seems like it's going there it's definitely yeah. like it seems like the kind of game where you definitely slowly add different elements in like yeah. stuff kind of comes in with time because i saw like oh apples are illegal now and mm -hmm. like there's like a, a shop guy who comes through a black market guy who comes through and i was able to buy apples from him and so like could i could imagine like yeah, i can buy apples sneak in someone's apartment put apples in their fucking dresser uh-huh yeah. and, then, and then there you go they then, committed a crime commit, yeah but i bet you there's like some kind of back way where if you start doing that too much things are starting to get a little yeah. suspicious you can also um, like blackmail your tenants for extra money mm -hmm. instead of turning them in you you're like hey i caught you on camera and i'm gonna blackmail you yeah uh-huh and um just a silly thing i think it's funny how this game ha sets up because your character doesn't sleep it sets it up in like the opening cutscene, like, oh, the government gave you like a, a sleep suppressant, so you don't have to sleep anymore. I just thought that yeah. was a fun little story thing just to explain. Like, you didn't have to explain it, but it did. No, exactly. Um, yeah, and it's only, how big is it? Two gigabytes? Two yeah, gigs? two gigabytes. So I'd recommend it. I, now, I don't think this game's going to be for everybody. It's definitely um, 
kind of like a memory game, like where you kind of have to remember a bunch of rules and kind of what you have to do. Um, there's a lot of different elements, but unlike something we talked about, Neoverse, um, this one does a good job of laying out everything you do need to follow with your journal. Yeah, it, it does a good job of uh, explaining what you have to do. Yeah, I'd recommend it. Yeah, there's a lot of concepts in there, and it does a good job giving, giving them to you one at a time and yes. teaching how to do it. Yeah. yeah, rather than throwing everything at you and saying, go ahead, just, just <laughs> go for it. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike this next game, <laughs> yeah. MotoGP Mot 20, right? Yep, 20. All right, coming in at 18 gigabytes. Yeah. It's fucking hard. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> it's a hard uh, game. This is not a high concept game to explain. It is a motorcycle racing game. And not just any kind of motorcycle racing game. This is a hardcore simulation. If you don't know anything about motorcycles, you're screwed. Like, this is difficult. Yeah, it is one of the more, more difficult games I've played in, I don't know, a long time. Yeah. If you want to get into realistic motorcycle racing games, <laughs> this would not be the jumping off point. No. No, this, this is this, not an intro. Because even on like the easiest setting and with assists and stuff, I, I was having a hard time. And yeah, you said that like I did. with brake assists, you couldn't win. Yeah, so like I turned on all the assists and I and like made all the AIs as easy as possible. And but that means you turn on assist braking, and that helps you turns, which is where I was having problems with this cornering. Um, but it would assist brake, so you couldn't reach i was making it third place every time i couldn't win like at all third place or lower with like the constant breaking so you it, it forces you like hey you have to learn how to, to play learn. this but it's it's difficult like it, it is not i i wish i had played another like gp game or something that with a little bit of a easier learning curve because yeah. i started up career mode and, you know, you usually think, like, oh, I start from the bottom, work my way up. That's how I would learn. No, you, like, hire, you like hire professional motorcyclers. Motorcyclists? Mm -hmm. I don't know what they Cyclists, are. yeah, I think so. And, you're like, you sign a company, and, like, you're in the middle of, like, a tournament already. It's like, yeah. you're already a professional, baby. <laughs> yeah. That. And, um, um, also, like, I don't know. I don't know if you found this annoying, but, like, it took me, like, probably, like, 35 minutes to even start a race yes like yeah you had like go through menus like you had to go through a customization thing mm -hmm. i was sitting there at the career thing figuring out how to start a race and realizing i needed to wait four weeks before the first race yeah what was that <laughs> i was like looking through all the menus and i'm like okay where do i just <laughs> sign up for a race well how do i do this and i simulate multiple weeks later i'm like oh i i had to simulate to get to like the yeah. racing point the that's so stupid yeah. and to fucking wait and like it was in like a weird pause menu you had like pause yeah like you had to like skip a week but i was like what do i what can i do this week though mm -hmm. and then it doesn't tell you that you can it doesn't tell you that you can't do anything yeah you just can't no. do anything and it doesn't tell yeah, you I that and you have to like wait four weeks yeah, there's no, like, beginning message or, like, email system. Because, like, other racing games, you have, like, a message center, like Forza. And it, like, yeah. oh, hey, your, your tournament starts in four weeks or something like that. No, yeah. nothing like that. It's just cold throws you in. Yeah. Um, so if you're like me, I love racing games. But um, this, is, this is not it. The, I don't know. Maybe it's just too much, too much of a simulation. Yeah. And like you said – it takes too long to get to a race and then like one race can take you upwards to about an hour because they want you to do like free practice modes like oh you want to go ahead and practice this before and then you get to qualifying and then you get to race which you can turn off yeah. but still it's like it adds a whole nother layer of just like time i don't know just yeah. it it wasn't for me it was a game i wanted to like but um it's hard. It's definitely hard to recommend unless you like other Moto GP games, which you probably have already owned this game if you were that big of a fan. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I would imagine. It's just strange. I've never, I've never played a game with that high of a learning curve. Right? Never. Right. I've never. never like, even like Dark Souls like teaches you how to do things. <laughs> yeah. right like it's like it teaches you oh this is a backstab 
this is how you pick up mm-hmm. items. Like this one was just like, all right, go and race, buddy. And like yeah. I, I turned too hard and I fell off my bike. <laughs> yeah, is there no tutorial? I don't. I don't think there is. I don't think there is. It doesn't. Which is in, insane because that's just like a given for any game. I feel like at yeah. least like a venue where it's like, hey, this is how you play this. Um, it's definitely not for people who haven't played this game before maybe if yeah. i played one a long time ago i'd get it a little bit more I and mean, i'm sure i'm sure it's a good version of it it looks nice it looks like nice. On my, yeah on my series x it's looking like really i at eight and 18 gigs if you're fresh looking for a racer much better choices on game pass download Forza. horizon 4 yeah yeah you'll you'll be good I think Forza 7 had like a whole bunch of different vehicles. You can race trucks in that if you want to. So <laughs> also like Burnout Paradise is on there, right? Burnout yeah, and that, that had motorcycles. Yeah, no, yeah. it is because I think it came with EA Play. Yeah, but that's like a different type. Of, that's like arcade racing. Yeah, that's which, an arcade racer. Which I like more. I like arcade yeah. racers a little more. I, I prefer an arcade racer um, for sure. So maybe it's just not my kind of racing game. Yeah. So um, then, then I guess I'll just say recommended only for hardcore simulation racing fans. Otherwise, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put the 18 gigs into yeah. it. Next one, Code Vein, Ooh. which I was pleasantly surprised by. Yeah, I I liked it. Um, this is definitely the this week's big game. This was like the big like boom. Uh, since Skyrim was the week before, this is kind of the next big one. Um, Thirty two gigabytes, um, big RPG, Dark Souls like. I knew yeah. about Code Vein. I didn't know it was just Dark Souls. Right? I didn't either. I'm not like I'm not like into anime. I guess it had like a weird like. So caliber style customization system where like you can like tilt hats and shit. So my dude's wearing a Santa hat like over his face. Looks pretty rad. <laughs> nice. But like it's it's Dark Souls. Yeah. And like <laughs> I feel like it might be a little bit easier because you can always have a companion. I think it's easier than Dark Souls. Like uh I, I, I do. Like I, I definitely got like I died, but it definitely yeah. didn't feel as dev it doesn't feel as devastating to die. I mean Dark Souls it's not that devastating, but this you like literally die and then you're good. It's it's pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. It was doing like the same sort of deals as Dark Souls, like enemies would drop jump out of destroyable boxes. Yeah. You'd, there'd be an enemy standing in sight, you go to fight the enemy, mm-hmm. another enemy attacks you from behind a corner, it does sneaky mm-hmm. shit like that. And yeah. uh, I think it's really interesting. You can invite a friend at any time to your game. Yeah, it's got a heavy focus on the online play, like from the menu. It's like, yeah. oh, you can play a solo mode or you can play online mode. Um, Which and like, it, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I agree. Like, it, it adds like a new fun level to like the Dark Souls formula because I mean, like, we, you see Souls likes all the time. That's yeah. just such a popular thing. And then this adds co-op to it. I don't know. It seems it seems interesting. Like I, I would like to experience Dark Souls as a friend. I feel yeah. like that would make my enjoyment of it a little bit there, better. There was a co-op system in Dark Souls where like you can write down your name on the ground, mm-hmm. and like some people. But it was like really only for like right before bosses. Yeah. And it wasn't like you can play the whole game together. Mm-hmm. It was very. Uh, I don't know if if the main person died, they would lose their humanity. And then, like, yeah, you to like restore it to like summon people again. But like this, you can just play co-op, and I think that's really cool. And if you're not mm-hmm. playing with a friend, you can have an AI companion. Yeah, so it's and a little was, easier that way. Yeah, I wasn't having any issues with my AI companion either. Like everything yeah. was was going fine when I was playing with them. It wasn't bad or anything. I turned them off. Oh, you turned them off? Really? I turned them off. Yeah, I was playing it. Oh wow, regular pairing is easier in this game okay. than in Dark Souls. I've I've beaten all of them, all the Dark Souls. I haven't played mm-hmm. Sekiro, but uh, I've never been able to parry anything. Really? <laughs> yeah, I was gotcha. like, I was like, okay, I'm never gonna learn how to do this, so I didn't. Mm-hmm. And this this time, like it, it like your character flashes for the uh, amount of time that the parry window is open, so it's kind of yeah. easier to learn the parry window. That's so good. that was nice. How do you feel about the menus in this game compared to like Dark Souls? Because they they, are, there's a lot to them. They are exactly the Dark Souls menu. <laughs> they are exactly the Dark they Souls are menu. Exactly the Dark, a little, uh, little weird because like you start it open, it has different like selections at the top where like the end is like quick game mm-hmm. and then like there's equipment and uh, yeah, it felt uh, 
intuitive because I've played uh, uh, other Dark Souls. The leveling up system, you can't like select individual attributes to increase. You just increase them all. It's like you're level one, level two, instead of increasing like luck or some shit, which I'm fine with. But yeah, no, like I was saying, I don't have as much experience with Dark Souls. It's not like a series that I like follow quite too heavily. Um, so like as far as like comparison goes, I don't, I don't have a lot to say. But from what I played as somebody new to like Souls games, I, I think it's fun. I don't know. I think it's a, I think it's interesting. I like the combat. Um, from what I've played of Dark Souls, it does play like when I turned this on and got in a fight, like a real fight, I was like, oh, yeah, I've played this in a Dark Souls before. This is exactly what this is like. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I mean, like, it, it's definitely fun. Like, and, and it's not as hard. I feel like this might be a good entry point for me, at least into liking other Dark Souls kind of games. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's good that way, too. Would you recommend it? I would recommend the download. Yeah, I, I would too. Uh, I'd recommend it for anybody just to like try out. 32 gigs is a lot, but it's, um, I think it's worthwhile just to give it a shot and try out. Um, I think there's enough good elements there. Yeah, it's worth if, it. if you like Dark Souls games, this is, this is a fine one. Mm-hmm. And if you uh, if you're, have never played a Dark Souls game and you're looking to get into one, this might be, uh, this might be the one. At but, first, I was like, oh, this is going to be a fucking shitty anime game. <laughs> and then like me too. I was like, oh this is fine <laughs> yeah well i was expecting like an rpg like a hardcore rpg yeah. i don't know why maybe it's just because of the anime shit but uh um, yeah. but no it, it's definitely like it's cool i wasn't expecting it yeah another good. little surprise um but yeah so what was your favorite what is what is the top pick my favorite is probably going to be monster train mm-hmm. either that or wilmot's warehouse yeah, I, I would definitely say the exact same thing. Uh, Monster Train and Wilmot's uh, Warehouse, both great games. Um, I'd recommend you download those. Like, yeah. if you got your phone on you, download it from the app. It is, they're both good and really small downloads and have tons of replay value. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Podcast um, that we have, Media Boys Podcast. Yeah. Uh, where we're joined by Chris and we talk about media. Um subscribe to us on youtube right is that where we're posting this that's where we're posting this yeah, yeah. so like and subscribe um for more content next week we'll talk a little bit more about last week on game pass right yeah sounds good all right cool all right see you guys yeah see ya.